Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. We're doing a quick video on how to install a shovel head clutch. We are from CNF Motorcycle Parts, so we're just gonna jump right in there. This is an 82 shovel head. This is our buddy Joe's bike. Great bike. A lot of them are very similar. Uh, it's a little later model, so it probably should have a five stud clutch up. This one has a three. Actually, I prefer a three, but this is what it came with. As we took it apart, the reason why we took it apart is Joe actually wanted heavy duty springs. So you can buy the heavy duty, duty springs. What we look for is we look for, you know, we want this plate to be as true as possible. So you can put it on a flat plate. If it's warped, then get a new one. We looked at his clutch. His clutch looks good. What we did is, you know, we really look for, Chris, you might want to look at this a little closer. We look for the, the ridges inside the clutch hub. So we take a little bit of emery cloth. We try to just clean that up a little bit to take the glaze off. We also do the same with the steel plates, kind of just rough them up a little bit. We also look at all the squares, the little notches in each of the plates to make sure they're not rounded off because they're guided on this. We look a little bit closer. All these blocks, those are the guides for the steel plates. We also look at all these studs right here and we want those to be cleaned up. So you might have to take some memory cloth to those. If they're really bad, you're gonna have to replace this or replace the whole hub, all right? So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start installing it real quick. So we've already prepped everything and cleaned it. So of course, it's just the normal procedure of putting these all together. So you're gonna put a, a friction plate. Now, everybody talks about a, an orientation on these. That's our compressor. I, I prefer to have the, the rigid side out. You kind of have a rounded edge. I'm going to put that in. So we're going to get this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to try to do it quickly so this video doesn't last forever. We're going to get all these in here. One of the things I want to point out, you'll see this inside the service manual, actually. They, we put a big washer there so we could put the pressure plate on and we could, we could condense it and we could put all the springs in. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. These are offset. These studs are offset a little bit. So you really kind of got to get in here and, and look at the orientation of it. So, so now that we have that on there, you can put the, the screws. Now you want, as you see, these nuts have a little cutout. So we're obviously gonna get a face that in. You have a little notch right on the pressure plate. So that's why we compress the springs. We're gonna go ahead and put these on. So what we want, the measurement that we want, we want this pressure plate from, from the other pressure plate to be one and one thirty seconds. So we're gonna measure each on each stud, one and one thirty seconds. Now we can actually bring this down a little bit more. So we're not really, bring that down a little more. 
So I'm going to measure here. Okay, so that, actually we can come out a little bit on that one. Okay. Okay, this one we have to go in. Perfect. So that one's at one one thirty second. That one's good. That one's good too. So now we can back this off and we're all set. The three stud clutch hub is a little bit different than the five stud clutch hub just because you have two more studs. So that's basically it. That's setting up the clutch. It's important to follow the procedure in the service manual so you get the exact measurement. What we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna adjust the clutch cable over here. I don't know if you wanna get a shot over this over here. So it's kinda of hard to see, but we're gonna adjust that adjustment right in here. It's a 9 16 and, a, and a half inch, and you're gonna bring that out. Usually I like to see about, uh, about a half inch to, about a half inch to three quarters of thread right here and then we're gonna adjust that out. So follow the procedure in the service manual and you'll be successful. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. We're at www.cfmotorcycleparts.com. That's our website. Or you can email us at management at cfmotorcycleparts.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you.